hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 8 blog series so guys now in previous video we have fetched all the users data and now guys in this video we are going to update the users role okay so i want to make this as user as a blogger okay so so let's make that user as a blogger or an admin if you require you can make him admin also so let's edit and update his user role okay so guys now let's get started so first let's uh, just give one slash and here you if you pass like this so it should edit the record okay so guys now let's continue to create a route for this let's get back and go to your web route.php here i use a get method and send the url at this one you have to send user id and go to your controller so we have already created the controller let's copy that controller itself and set up and show that create a edit function let's go to the user controller now guys let's copy this function and make as edit function and change the page name to edit all set and let's make this variable as user okay just press click on it and control d so you can select that all the variables so use find function and dollar user id so this user id from where you're getting from edit function and how this user id is coming over here from your route okay so here is your route perfect so now guys let's create one file inside your resource views admin user and inside this user edit.blade.php file all set so now guys uh, we need to create the form okay so before that let me just extend extend all the files okay let's copy this paste here let's copy done yep and let's change this to edit user edit user and add one back button so bsek back design as a button danger and set the path url where admin forward slash users all set and here we are going to set up the form so before setting up the form let's see the output refresh perfect okay let me just push this to end so you can add a float end refresh done so let's so let's add one form margin bottom three label i don't require this for full name and use a p tag to show the full name guys okay so i'm not going to update the user name i'm just going to update his role okay so you can get that variable what variable we have passed in the edit function user let's copy that user variable dollar user of name so this name you have to check out this column okay name email okay so i'm just going to copy this name your email id email and when this it was created so i just wanted to show that so created at you can call that created at column which is over here okay yep and let's change the format to date month and year all set so if you want to add a class you can just add a class form hyphen control all set paste it now you can view the output perfect so it looks like an input field but it's not an input so now guys let's update with the role so that is the main work over here so let's take this form below as we are not going to use this data for updating 
and yep let me copy this paste change this to role as and use a select option option here you give one admin user and one blogger so this blogger details we are keeping because in future will be updating as a single user blog post okay so who is logged in that user can add his post so for that case we are going to keep this now okay yep guys and admin is one user is zero and blogger is two all done so now we need to design this form the form hyphen control and here let's match with the data what it is present now okay so same condition go with three also dollar user variable role underscore as is double equal to not required is equal to one then make it to selected okay so this option you have to give so yep guys let me just copy this and here inside your option tag okay not inside your value it's just inside the option so if a role as a zero then you are going to be selected and if it is two means you are going to be selected done let's save and now guys let's see the output once perfect so this user is as a user so it's by default it is selected to users let me select with the admin part okay so i'm the admin edit okay it's not 404 i think the url is missed let's check out in the okay we have given users it's user done guys so let's make that as a user because single data is called as user let's edit once again and here you find it's selected as admin let's get back and let's select with the second he's a user cool so it's selected as user so now guys let's update with its role let's get back on the edit blade and add a simple button b-u-t-t-u-n button like update user role and now button primary and the button type is going to be submit all done let's change the method to post send the csrf token and now update the route here you set the url where you are going to admin forward slash update user okay with the id so dollar user hyphen id all set now let's send the method with the put so guys let's copy this url to web.php route colon colon using put method set the url update user forward slash with the user underscore id and go back to your controller let's copy the controller and create the update function copy and go to the user controller so let's create the function let me copy this paste here we set so yep guys we are going to accept the request first request dollar request where the user id so first you will be finding the user id okay and if the user id is found found and then you are going to update that data so dollar user of role underscore as is equal to dollar request of the role value so what is the role let me just check out okay role underscore as let's copy this and send the request 
perfect so once done let's take this user and tell update all set after this you can just return and redirect uh, not back we are going to use with to show the message message updated successfully and here where are you going to redirect to admin forward slash users all done so what in case of not if admin is I mean user is not found you can just redirect him directly no user found save guys and now let's test with that updating okay so he's on Prakash and he's a just a user let's make him as a admin update role updated successfully so you can see guys that user has been changed to admin so when he logs in when Om will log in he can access this admin dashboard so yep guys in this video that's it and let's continue in next video with a new topic so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share